In this video, we'll be going over linking charts. Now, chart linking is a powerful feature that enables you to apply an action to a set of charts instead of just a single chart at a time. And by default, the charts are unlinked. That is, they have no group links assigned to them. There are a few different ways to assign a link group to a chart, and the simplest way is just to select a link group from the status bar at the bottom of the window here. You'll notice you have some uh, colors to choose from. Now, you also can assign a link group from the link drop-down in the toolbar, and you'll notice here that you'll also have more colors available to you. There is also the link all option found here as well as here in the status bar, and that is available if you're working from the console window or a desktop, and this provides a convenient way of linking all the charts on a page with one click. So let's link some charts by assigning some link groups. So for Microsoft here, I'm going to select red. Now you'll notice the red shows here in the upper left hand corner, uh, as well as the red here has shifted over to the left. We'll select Apple, we'll make that red as well. And then we'll make IBM green and we'll make the Amazon green. You can also assign link groups to DOM windows as well as time and sale windows. So for instance here, if I were to assign green, you'll notice here that it's moved over to the left. And if we do a time and sales window, we can make this red here. You'll also notice if you go under window menu, you'll notice the colors assigned here. Okay, let's close this up. We'll close this and this. There are three modes for linking charts in MotiveWave. If we go to Configure, Preferences, General, and then under Linking, the first mode is Instrument, and in this mode, changing the symbol on one chart will change all the charts in the link group to the same symbol. Then there's Bar Size, if the bar size is changed on a chart in this mode, all link charts will change to the same bar size. And then there's none replay mode, and this mode is for linking charts together for use in replay mode. So basically link charts are part of a replay group. Okay, so let's set the, uh, let's take off use default. Let's set red to instrument, green, to bar size, and let's just set, um, maybe we'll do the yellow to replay mode. We'll hit apply, okay. Now you'll notice if I click on Microsoft now, the Apple chart changes to Microsoft as well because for the red link group, we set it to instrument. Now for green, we have set it for bar size, or also known as time. So if I select one hour, you'll notice now the symbols haven't changed green link group, but the time has changed. They both reflect one hour. So if I were to change to 15, okay, now you'll now see that both charts have changed to 15 minutes. The third mode that we mentioned for linking charts was replay mode. So let's change the color of this chart's link group from green to yellow. And we'll do the same for Amazon in the bottom right. Now if we activate replay mode and we check the configurations, you'll see here the replay link you can set to whichever link group you wish. We selected yellow. Let's click update. Now let's just change the date. Let's just say July 1st. Let's turn on replay mode. And you'll notice now that both separate symbols, IBM and Amazon, have gone back in time to July 1st. And if I were to play replay mode, you'll see that they both play at the same time. That is because they are part of the same link group. Okay, so let's just turn that off. Now to unlink a chart, you can simply select it and then select the 
unlink icon here at the bottom of the toolbar, and that will unlink the charts. Uh, also, if you want to unlink multiple charts at a time, you can quickly link them all and then unlink them or no group. Okay, now they're all unlinked. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.